Hey guys, what's up? It is Preach as always. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the Garanko anti-tank rifle, AKA the PTRS. And what we're going to discuss is actually the variant that you get in the battle pass. That is what you're going to be seeing as gameplay throughout this entire video. So if you've completed the battle pass, then you have unlocked at level 90 something, I forget which level exactly, the PTRS variant in the battle pass. And I think it's called the hold the line variant. Maybe it's a bluish color with gold accents and trim. But the big thing I want to discuss is the attachments that you get on it because it's actually a good attachment setup. So if you haven't grinded this gun and you don't want to just start with no attachments because it's really slow and really hard to use that way, then if you have done the battle pass and gotten this particular variant, it's got a lot of really good attachments on it that make it very easy to use as I'm sure you are already seeing in the gameplay. So I'm gonna go over what those attachments are right now while you watch the gameplay. And they are starting with the muzzle, the mercury silencer attachment. Now this you could take or leave. I kind of like how the gun sounds while it's silenced and it's not hurting you really in any way. The 420 millimeter Empress barrel, this does improve your aim down sight time, which of course as a sniper is always a positive. The Zia 4 3x5x rifle scope, this is the scope I would recommend to use whether you were using a variant or not when using this gun because what it does for you is it allows you to have way more peripheral vision. It's a smaller scope that doesn't block a whole lot of the screen and it comes up faster, it comes up more straightforward, it's less awkward bringing the gun up and it improves your aim down sight time significantly over the regular scope. Now this stock is a good one to use, although not the best, it is a good one. The Anastasia Type 1A stock is the stock that comes on this. The SMLE pistol grip is the grip that comes on this, and it is a great grip to use because it helps your sprint to fire speed, which is always a positive, especially if you're doing what I'm doing for this video and running around on small maps trying to level the gun up so that I can get above level 70 and go for those camo challenges. The magazine is the 13 millimeter AM 10 round mags. This is great because you get to shoot 10 bullets before you have to reload. In a semi-automatic gun, this allows you to potentially get yourself a nice kill feed without having to reload or swap weapons. The lengthened ammo is the ammo type that we're using. This speeds up bullet velocity and it is the preset on this. The leather grip is the grip that they give you on this gun and that is another grip that allows you to speed up your aim down sight time. So several things on this gun already that are improving things like sprint to fire and ADS. So this is a good quick scoping setup for this. The focus proficiency and what that proficiency does is it allows you less flinch so it keeps you able to stay on target while you're being shot a little bit better and that is the preset and then the defender kit i don't remember what that does but that is what comes on this class it is a very good quick scoping class to run while you are using the ptrs and as i've already stated this class in this gun it is a semi-automatic gun, so I'm sure you've seen a couple moments where just staying down in scope, getting a couple quad feeds, getting multi-kills has worked very efficiently and very effectively with this gun. Even though it's a slower ADS gun, once you have this set of attachments on there, it actually ADS is decently quick and the ability to not have to cock a bolt allows you to be able to get more kills in a faster time period. So it's actually a pretty effective gun on the smaller maps like Doss House and like Shipment as I was playing in the Ship House playlist for this video. So my goal is to get all of the camos done on this gun. I think I got this gun up to level 65 while just playing just last night uh, using some double XP tokens, weapon XP, and was able to up or upgrade this gun really, really fast. And there are a few better attachments if you want to use them going forward. The leather grip is great. My favorite grip, though, is the fabric grip once you're able to unlock that. Um, 
the Mercury silencer, I just like the way it sounds, but the L brake is actually probably the best muzzle attachment for any sniper because it has no downsides. It improves your accuracy, but there's not a downside. There's not a negative effect on the gun by using it. So it is probably my overall recommended muzzle for this gun. But other than that, this gun has been very, very good to use on DOS House and Shipment. I'm looking forward to once I get the camos grinded out, going on to bigger maps. So I know that, you know, there's going to be two different long shot grinds that I have to go on. So we're going to try to play a lot of Gavutu, a lot of Oasis, a lot of Desert Siege, a lot of Red Star maps like that to try to get those long shots done with this gun but it's a pretty fun gun to use if you're a sniper and you've already thrown this one out as a big bulky slow moving gun give it another shot use these attachments use this particular setup i love it hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe as always preach out uh he's he still hasn't finished his trilogy that he's been working on for 11 years now and um uh, it's kind of funny that he hasn't that he hasn't finished that yet Have you yeah. seen the uh, movie about Tolkien? Uh-uh. I actually didn't know there was one. It's actually really good. I'll have to watch it. I forget what it's called. I've read a few biographies about it, but... There we go. Oh, what? <laughs> I mean, like, it shouldn't be in the game, but if it is, I'm going to take advantage of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not your fault they made a bad game. <laughs> Damn. Dang it, I followed the wrong guy. Come on. Thanks. Hey, 18 and 4, I'll take it.